Hi, it's Scott. I have a friend named Stacy. She's my neighbor. She and her family live a few blocks away. Stacy's a former TV producer like me, and I love hanging with her because she's super smart. She's got this passionate edge and a very dark sense of humor. She also has this great way of cutting through the bullshit. So I could see why becoming a stay-at-home mom in the burbs might have driven her kind of crazy. Crazy enough to do something amazing. I was sitting in a house in the suburbs after being in the city for many, many years, and I was just painting the house. I was just doing nothing. I mean, work had dried up, clients were gone. I painted this house for like a year. I worked with the, my, my contractor, and I, I painted this house for a year. That's what I did. And my wife would get home every single day, and she'd be like, what'd you do today? And I'd be like, that wall. I guess I was, I isolated myself and I just was playing um, baseball with my son one day. My son has a really good arm so he uh, threw it to me but I wasn't looking and he hit me right here in the face and it started gushing blood because it hit like a vein and so I had to go to the hospital and that was my fuck this moment. So I began to write instead of painting the house. And so I started to write, buoyed by the confidence of really nobody but my friends. And I had a draft of, a, of something that I had in mind within six weeks. And a couple of friends read it and they said, this is a movie I would see. And um, my community just sort of helped me and nobody said no. And we shot a film. Uh, all of a sudden, trucks rolled up and people got involved and um, everybody I asked for help, uh, helped. So I made a film called Concussion. The premise of the movie is, oh, here's this woman. She's 40 years old and she's bored in her life. Uh, she has two kids. She's been married to a woman for 20 years. And she basically feels sexually abandoned. She goes into the city to, to start a new business. And uh, she, all of a sudden, out of the blue, sees a Craigslist hooker. And you're like, what the heck is this woman doing? I don't understand. She's actively sourcing sex. And she's eventually sort of, in a fantastical kind of way, drawn into the life herself. And it is through becoming this sex worker that she sort of starts to find her freedom and her, her, her independence again. I knew that I needed to, to do it the way I wanted to do it now. I needed to inspire um, support and people were willing to give that to me, which I still am like shaking my head, not really understanding how or why. Let's try to do the lesbian hooker movie, <laughs> as it, I'm sure it will be called. Um, but it became much more than that. It wasn't only just making a film, it was sort of making a film with your friends that was trying to say something new and interesting and different and have people actually trust and respect that, it's amazing. That part of it was the most incredible part because um, it made people believe in the project as well. But a lot of these people that, that helped, they were really involved in the process of making something that they didn't know how it would turn out, but they were interested and they were engaged. And, and I absolutely loved the way that all came together within this community. I have really cool friends that are very creative. And so when one of us does something, the others are like, Yay, right, that's what you're supposed to do. And everybody just kind of throws in and everybody's really proud of each other, which I think is really a gift. I think it made it a better film. The film won a Teddy Award, which is a high honor for a gay and lesbian title. And then we went to Sundance and we couldn't believe we got in and it was sold to uh, the Weinstein Company Radius at Sundance after the premiere. I mean, still now I'm just sort of like, I can't believe that it, it happened. That's my year of festivals right there. I think the most rewarding thing is to sort of realize that, you know, regardless of whether you've been in it, you can do anything you want to do. And I think like my neighbors and my friends 
around here made me sort of realize that I had the potential to do that, which is mind-blowing. <laughs>